for Huffington Post. He's got an upcoming show in Russia today, amen? His best-selling book is called Moment of Clarity, Lee Camp, amen? Yeah. All right, how you doing? You ready to fight back? That's awesome. That's, some of you may not know, I am a comedian, so I occasionally use a bad word. If that offends anybody, I'm sorry. But if you look at what Monsanto's doing to our food supply and don't say, this is bullshit, then there's something wrong with you. All right? It is. You're going to be expected even a dog knows not to shit where it eats. Well, we are no dogs. And apparently that entitles us to shit where we eat. Because that's what Monsanto is doing to our food. It is. It's, it, it's, I mean, they, they, they control our government in a lot of ways. Some people were talking about it earlier, you know, from congressmen to, to Obama putting Michael Taylor in at the top of the FDA, all right? That's, that's like putting Lance Armstrong at the head of the DEA. It's like, it's like putting Miley Cyrus in charge of stabilizing asses. You know, it's like putting the boogeyman in charge of underbed security. It's like, it's like putting Dick Cheney in charge of a children's bake sale to, to raise money for puppies with restless leg syndrome. Although that's rough. They have more legs than we do. It is insane. They, it, it, it's a corruption of our government. It's a corruption of our system. The wealth is being dragged to the top. And as many have said, Monsanto doesn't want to feed the world. They want to control the world food supply. There's a big difference between those two. But most of you are here because you have gotten your information outside of the mainstream media. Right? The mainstream media... The mainstream media talks about Monsanto about as much as they talk about Santa Claus's criminal record. All right? It's, it's not even mentioned. It's not allowed to be mentioned. Our media is a pile of crap. It's like a pointillism painting. When you're up close, you don't see it, and then you back up, and you're like, oh, it's a pile of shit. I see it. I see it now. It is. It, they, they, they're not telling us what's going on, they're not telling us about this, but that's why independent media is so incredibly important, and that's why you should all keep supporting it in every way you can so that we learn about these issues. We're in the middle of a drop-down, drag-out, bloody fucking war, and a lot of us, a lot of this country are too dumb, medicated, or blissfully uneducated to even realize it. We ourselves with shiny shit and zombified ourselves with televised social rejects and just like a just like a fishbowl if you give us a little bit of food and a little plastic treasure chest or a chest of plastic treasures then we will never even question that all of our thoughts and all of our soul take place inside of a two-foot bowl all right it's time to start thinking outside of the regular paradigm okay. These are pretty serious times. This is dark versus light, evil versus good, Mel Gibson now versus 1993 Mel Gibson. This is some serious shit, all right? And, and, and we have something important in our control. We have Monsanto's brand name in our hands, all right? They need that to be successful. They need it to be viewed positively. And that's up to us. We can change that. We should start using that brand name in other ways. You know, like, oh man, my toddler just Monsantoed in his pants. You know? Start corrupting their brand name. That's the way to go with it. You can do it with other things too, you know. Just go into your office tomorrow and be like, hey guys, don't use the elevator. Someone walmart it in there. Someone, something fierce. So watch out for that. But this, this, this unfettered, unregulated capitalist domination of the mental sphere, the natural here and now, it's an extraction, it's a decimation, it's a defecation of anything and everything that matters to your average human being. And the question now is just whether we'll take long enough to put our differences aside to, to, to tell the, the, the ass holier than now titans of dickery at the top of this thing to go frack themselves with a rusty Monsanto. Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave you with this. I have one tattoo. 
It's Howard Zinn, it's on my arm, and it says small acts when multiplied by millions of people can become a power no government can suppress, a power that can change the world. That's why we're here.